Okay, so I have a confession to make. <laughs> I've never seen Braveheart. I know this one. Yeah? And only because it ends in ho, so you go Westwood ho! Friends, how are you doing today? Great! Us too, thanks very much for asking. Over the last few months I've been learning as much as I can about Kentucky because hopefully, hopefully I'm gonna live there. I thought it might be quite nice for me to teach Becca something, uh, learn about the UK through the medium of a quiz that I found online. There's even a picture around and I know for sure you'll recognise two because I know that you've been to two of them. I'm sorry. Okay, Siri is apologising. Okay, we're just going to dive into this and it's Becca learning a little bit about <laughs> the UK. What is the highest mountain in Great Britain? Great Britain, so not including Northern Ireland. Ben Nevis? Correct. Which city has the nickname the City of Dreaming Spires? I don't know. I've never heard of anything like that. What is a spire to you? Because the twin spires in Kentucky is Churchill Downs because they have the two towers. So spires in this country are connected to a church. They're the, the long pointy roofs of a church. It's one of two places and the two places are very close to me. It's either Winchester or Oxford because I know that both have a lot of places. Yeah, Oxford sounds familiar. It's more likely to be Oxford. Okay. Let's say Oxford. Catatonia are a famous band from Wales, but who is their lead singer? No idea. Keris someone. Are they new? I think they're fairly old, like oh. maybe 90s. Oh. I'm going to say Keris question mark because okay. I don't know. Which of the following cities is the furthest north? Leeds, Liverpool or Manchester? I think Liverpool. I think it's just Leeds. I remember when I went to York, I took the train from Manchester. I think I went through Leeds. I think it's Leeds. Okay, could be. I'll say Leeds, but you're going to say Liverpool. Yeah, just because I'm not positive. The Suffolk Punch is a breed of which animal? I don't think it would be a cow. I think it's going to be either a sheep or a pig. Oh, I was sheep was my second. Yeah. I've never heard of that sort of wool. Could be a pig, could be a horse. I don't think I'm going to go with horse. Let's say horse. What is the most common street name in Great Britain? The High Street doesn't isn't called High Street right? Some of them are called High Street. Are they really? I think it is High Street. In my town the Main Street is not called Main Street. But are in other places around America is Main Street yeah. called yeah. Main Street. So it could be a yeah. similar thing then. In Newbury where I live mm -hmm. the High Street isn't called High Street. It's called Northbrook Street but everybody refers to it as the High Street. Right. I'm gonna say High Street if not maybe like Church Street or something. So. Oh Church Street is a good shout. I think it's High Street. Which village in Wales shares its name with a term meaning to say something indistinctly or quietly? Is there one called Mumble? Mutter? Mumble is probably a good shout. You're doing better than me. Which is the only town in England with a name ending with an exclamation mark? I know this one. Yeah? And only because it ends in ho, so you go Westwood ho! Have you ever had to voice anything for there? Maybe! Maybe that's why I know it. Okay, Is let's it say that. Westward? Thanks. Ward, sorry, West Ward Ho. Yeah, it yeah. sounds like you're saying West Wood. This is like when you say ten and tin. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do West Wood and West Wood. Did you hear a difference? Well, I feel like you were emphasizing the wood part. Uh, you'll know this one. Which 13th century Scottish warrior did Mel Gibson play in the 1995 film Braveheart? Okay, so I have a confession to make. <laughs> I've never seen Braveheart. Okay, we're going to end the video there and I'm going to hang up the call and... You got the love. Although it's about the Scots beating the crap out of the English, so I technically shouldn't have enjoyed it. He played William Wallace. Oh yeah, okay. Now that you say that, I have heard that, but... The River Severn is the longest river in Britain at 354 kilometres, but which is the second longest? I feel like there's only one other option. So it's either the Thames or maybe the River Avon. I don't think it's the Avon because I live along where the River Avon becomes the Kennet and Avon Canal. There are also a lot of Rivers Avon in England I learned mm -hmm. when I was there so yeah probably the Thames. Do you know where River Severn is? Isn't it Wales? Mm -hmm. It splits like between Wales and England. Yeah and there's a bridge. And that's the bridge that I got caught speeding on. Which famous jazz club has the address 47 Frith Street, London? 
I don't know any jazz clubs in London. I'm going to leave that blank because I haven't got a clue. Yeah. In which county would you find the White Cliffs of Dover? I don't know my counties. East Coast. Uh-huh. Essex. Sussex. I think it's going to be Kent. Okay, yes. This is going to like make me look really bad because I should know this stuff. Who was the first monarch to use Buckingham Palace as the official residence? Was that Victoria? I think it was. That was easy. Yeah. yeah. Eight ball, easy peeler and clockwork tangerine are all British types of what? Drinks? I was thinking more like a um, snooker game or like a billiards game. Yeah, I mean, I know eight ball is a game, but it isn't eight ball like also coke? as in cocaine let's say drinks what is the national flower of wales i know this one i feel like i should know this one it's yellow and has a trumpet a daffodil yeah oh it's a very unassuming flower what is the capital city of scotland edinburgh yeah which metal shares its name with a famous london theater metal yeah i don't know and i should know this because i go to the theater quite a lot yeah there's not like a pewter one or a no no idea <sighs> oh the palladium oh i didn't even know palladium was a metal oh yeah well wow, i've learned something one of the designers that works with katie at the gallery uses a lot of palladium oh really obviously that's the one of the biggest if not the biggest theater in london yeah the london palladium well maybe the opera house i don't know ornwick castle was used as the exterior shots in which film series thinks super British? Oh, like Harry Potter? Yeah. Okay. I've been to some Harry Potter locations in the Cotswolds, but that's about it. Have you really? Stuff. You're not really the biggest Harry fan, though, are you? Because I've never seen the films, and I only read the first three books. I would really like the films more than the books. What was 32 inches in 1512, 35 inches in the 1520s, and then 54 inches in 1545? Wasn't that when Henry was in reign? So wouldn't that be like his his belly? His waist size. Get... So yeah, that's the only waist. thing I could think of. His ar or his armor. Henry ate waist because he was really fit in his early days, wasn't he? And he yeah. like, played yeah. sports, and then he had the injury. Wasn't he jumping over a river or something, or a stream on a horse, and the horse spooked, and he fell, and then he broke his ankle, or I think something. so. And then he was laid up, and then he got fat. Which mountain range is often described as the backbone of England? I don't know any mountain ranges in England. I only know one mountain range in England and it's the Pennines. Hmm, okay. Where are these places? You know one. Yeah, that's Dirtledore. Number two. Number two. The York Minster's not on the water like that, I don't think. I have no idea then. Bath Abbey, maybe? Durham, Durham Cathedral. Durham. Three. That is the Birmingham Bullring. Oh, cool. Four. Somewhere in no. Wales, maybe? No idea where that is. Clyde Bridge in Glasgow. Five. No clue. No, me neither. Is there some sort of like, I don't know, scientific telescope or weather monitoring? It, it looks like a stadium, like a sports stadium. Oh. Principality mm. Stadium. It looks like a TV station or... A, yeah, like a, right. I see why you said that. You know six. Down you take a yeah. photo yeah. there. Seven. Uh, there's only one that I know of, one major tower like that in this country. Yeah. Blackpool Tower. Oh, cool. Eight. I feel like you've been here as well. Yeah, that's the Roman Bath. And number nine. It's either Dover or the Isle of Wight. I think that's the Needles. I just don't know where it is. Yeah. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a little like, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you next time. Stay amazing. Have a lovely day. Goodbye now. You're doing better than me. You're doing better than me. You're doing better than me.